the apocalypse. <laughs> like the, the real apocalypse dream is uh, everything ends. I haven't had, been having dreams pretty much at all lately, or ones that I remember for some reason. Yeah, I get every now and then I get these the system fails dreams, you know. Right. Uh, every now and then, like some Mad Max type shit. And maybe it's just because all these assholes are screaming, the sky is falling. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's, one of the things that was really interesting, I was uh, listening to some uh, recordings of Hunter S. Thompson speaking at the University of Colorado, and like it was like 1974, and he was talking about you know like the CFR, you know, which is like supposedly the, the group of people that control the world, you know, and the, the global bankers, the Bilderberg Group, that type of shit. And he was talking about. Uh, uh, you know, like uh, what's going on overseas and what the United States is up to and how corrupt the political system is and how it's probably, you know, if it goes this way much longer, the country's going to fall apart. But then you look at it like 30 years later, it's like still the same shit. Yeah. It's still the same shit. Right. It's like, is it getting any worse? Well, there's more people, so it seems to accelerate a little bit because there's more activity. There's more humans. But it all seems to be going along the same lines. You know, and this, the sky is falling, crazy shit. Like... Really? I mean, it would take something big, man. And if it takes something big, you're probably going to be dead anyway. Right. The sky's really going to be falling. It takes like a meteor. We need right. like a, a volcano, like a Yellowstone. Right. Which, by the way, ready for this? This is January 17th. There's been over 1,600 earthquakes in Yellowstone. Wow. What it's the coming. fuck? It's coming. If you don't know, Yellowstone is a giant volcano. See, nobody ever taught me this in school. Did they ever teach you this in school? Do you remember this? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. The caldera? Well, the the whole volcano thing the, that it's gonna blow. Yeah, yeah. I think it's weird when you live there too. It's like you're, a lot of people can't live there because they, they're in constant fear of it too. I've heard. <sighs> How could you not? I, I forget who it was. I think it was uh, Adam Carolla or somebody. Or was talking about when I was in high school. I don't. Well, I'm older than you. How old are you? Uh, thirty. Shh! Don't tell these people. They'll, they're cruel. 35. So I'm seven. I'm seven years older than you. So you have to think about it. Like if we were in high school, like I was in high school earlier than you. They probably didn't even know yet because one of the things they found out about with these um, the Yellowstone is uh, they had satellite images. And when they took the satellite images, that's when they realized that what they were dealing with was uh, a caldera, which was a, a volcano that was so explosive that the top literally disappeared. Like, be like Hawaii, but Hawaii fucking explodes and it's just flat. I mean, that's how big this volcano is. It's 300 miles across. That's insane. And when it blows up, you imagine 300 miles of explosion straight up into the air. Lava, everything. We'd, we'd for, be okay here? Or would no, it, no, we'd be the fucked. Whole, the the whole, whole continent yeah. would be fucked. We'd be fucked. But we would have like like a good like one hour slow lava? or it's the, <laughs> No, it wouldn't be lava. You'd be fucked because the ash would rain ash. and fuck everything up. It would kill animals. It would it would pollute the water supply. So what would, it would fuck everything up, really? man. You think about how much... It, it's like... Heavy, heavy, like soot is like snow, okay? Except it's much heavier. So roofs would collapse. Wow. So you would get like, you know, two, three feet of soot that would come down. And even if you stayed inside your house and relaxed, right. your house would very likely get crushed from this fucking soot. Right. Because this soot would be thousands and thousands of pounds on your roof. So it's going to cave your fucking house in. You can't breathe outside. The, the, the sky is filled with soot. You don't understand? Everywhere. And it's heavy, thick shit. Volcanic ash, soot, you're fucked, you're fucked, and it covers the continent. It comes over us like a so, cloud yeah, but after spreading the, out from After air. the volcano, how long does it, do you have any they idea? They don't have any idea. No idea. Well, they know that there's been smaller ones where it's just killed a lot of things, and then there's been these gigantic earth-shattering ones every six to 800,000 years. And the last time there was one was 600,000 years ago. What if it was something like it wouldn't hit you for like a week? And so you just God everyone had to damn. slowly get out, and people with segways what are going. What the fuck would you do? Have you would have to leave the continent. Yeah, well, I think you could be okay if you could get off in North America. You if you could go to Europe, even I think Florida or something. If you knew that okay. shit was going down, and you could get on a plane and fly to England, just take your family. And That'd fly be a to crazy England. movie, uh, like evacuating the whole United <sighs> States. Well, you know, there's a there's a <laughs> rock shelf in Africa um, that if it breaks off, like it's they, they have these um, underwater. Uh, these underwater landslides occur where these big shelves of these mountains fall off. And it's happened 
thousands of times throughout history. Well, if this one particular rock flat, this this whole area, which they predict one day will break off and go into the uh, the ocean, this one particular side of a mountain, if it does that, it's going to create a gigantic tsunami that engulfs the whole east coast of the United States, like miles in. It's just going to just miles in water. I mean, it's just a gigantic chunk of rock pouring into the ocean and these fucking waves that are like a mile high just gonna roll in and wreck everything it's gonna be insane or it's just gonna be mildly irritating oh, no, you know? it's gonna be insane <laughs> it's gonna be insane and it's probably gonna happen yeah you know i mean well, it might not happen in our lifetime no. yeah that's what but, it, but but you can't say it odds could. are so against it though. they're not though they, they, no they one probably knows. are. It's there's probably so one many things. 50, 50 billion. But there's so many things, dude. There's so many different things. The odds aren't against it. If you look at all of them together, the odds aren't against it. Because if you look at like meteors, man, they don't know when the fuck those are coming. They have no idea how many asteroids are out there, how many big chunks of fucking rock and metal and iron are flying through space. And any one of those could jack us. And they've happened so many times over history. It's been proven. There's so many planets that are scattered with craters. There's no way we can predict. It. There's no, I mean, they could monitor the sky and hope they catch most of them, but there's always ones that are sneaking right by us that we miss. It, it's happening left and right, man. What? What, are you, what, are you the to? Black. what the fuck? Dude, That's dude. the government, man. Can you guys still hear us? 